You're listening to international investment advisor Doug Goldstein on the Goldstein on Gelt Show, the financial show where we'll talk about how you can make the most of your money. With all the confusing financial chatter bombarding you each and every day, Goldstein on Gelt will give you the practical information you want and need about living a financially stable life. Here's your host, money maven Doug Goldstein. Okay, we are back. I'm very happy to have back on the Goldstein on Geld Show, Omer Shai, who's the vice president of marketing for a company called Wix. If you missed the first fabulous interview, check it out at goldsteinongelt.com or just go to our YouTube channel, look up Goldstein on Gelt, and you'll find Omer Shai. Omer, a pleasure to have you back. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. The exciting news from your company is that you recently introduced websites that people can build with a platform called HTML5 as opposed to Flash. So before we get into the real details, could you explain what the main point of Wix is and what does this mean, this HTML5? Definitely. Uh, so first, Wix is an online platform that enables users to, cre to create fabulous websites by themselves. Uh, it's a do-it-yourself platform and everyone can do and create unlimited website by themselves for free. Uh, till a month ago, uh, we had a new, only one platform, a flash one, and a month ago we launched a new platform, an HTML one that enabled users to create a fabulous HTML5 website. Uh, and we keep working on the flash uh, website builder, builder as well, so user will have the option to choose between the flash website builder or the HTML5 according to their needs. Okay, so what is the difference then? For those of, for those people who aren't so technic, technologically experienced. So, the difference is uh, technology and capabilities. Flash, uh, I think that most of the audience are aware of, uh, is really a powerful design tool. And you create beautiful website and beautiful element uh, via Flash. It's made by Adobe and it's a closed code. Uh, the, the, there, there is lack of visibility of a Flash website or Flash elements through Apple devices. So if someone creates a Flash website, uh, it's not going to be visible through an uh, iPad or iPhone. Uh, that's why what, what we did uh, during 2010 and developed a special platform for mobile and uh, iPad, so user will have full visibility uh, through all the devices. Currently, what we add is an HTML5 platform uh, that uh, one website will be visible on all the platform. So in one creation process, you will have a beautiful website with full capabilities on the desktop, laptop, iPad, and also on mobile. Uh, our goal, uh, uh, a bit about HTML. HTML mm -hmm. is considered as a standard programming language uh, by a website developer for many, many years. And HTML5 is the latest version. The technology, Omer, that you're using is so cutting edge that people with older browsers, and I don't mean just, you know, uh, 10 years old, but even some people with, you know, a couple of years old, might not be able to see the sites that are created on Wix. Is that a problem, or how are you dealing with that? This is a, uh, we consider it as advantage, and I will explain. Uh, first, the creation process is available uh, uh, on uh, all Chrome browsers, Firefox, and on most of the advanced Explorer version, uh, Explorer 9 and Explorer 10. Mm -hmm. We would like to give the users the option to create beautiful websites. And in order to do so, uh, we need to sacrifice something. And we're happy to let go and not support an old browser, like Explorer 7 and Explorer 8, that give boundaries to our users. I don't give them the option to use a lot of uh, unique and advanced design capabilities that optional on the Explorer 9, going to be ex uh, optional in Explorer 10, and already available to the Chrome and Firefox users. I, I will give you examples. Uh, no, I'm sorry, before you do that, I just want to separate something. You, you're talking about making the design, 
or someone who comes to the site. Meaning, if I set up, if I use Wix and I set up an HTML5 website, can someone using an old browser see my website? Like an yes. old. Okay, so it's only for the people who are designing the websites who need to upgrade their browsers. Let's split it to two. In the creation process, the creation is available for users uh, only who use Chrome, Firefox, and Explorer 9 and 10, and, and Opera as well. A uh, user who don't have those advanced browser, we will ask them to update their browser. It, it's an easy process. Mm -hmm. Your site is going to be visible to someone who using Explorer 8, but there are some design capabilities, and I will give you an example. For example, Shadow. Uh, Shadow, this is uh, design capabilities is going to be uh, published to Wix user really, really soon. And this feature is not going to be visible to someone who will come from Explorer 8. Right. So, so he'll so see the website, he just won't be... see it looking as beautiful. He won't see the shadow part of the beauty. Exactly, exactly. The website is going to be visible, but it's not going to be as beautiful as someone with advanced uh, browsers. Okay, we are talking to Omer Shai, who's the vice president of a company called Wix. Wix is, a, is an online service that provides both for free as well as a more premium service to people who want to develop fabulous looking websites. Uh, by means of disclaimer, Shai, uh, Omer, I, I have to, I have to tell the audience that I myself use uh, Wix products. If you, in fact, go to the Goldstein on Gelt website, goldsteinongelt.com, uh, that is all powered by Wix, and that's the Wix Flash version. And I've also got another website powered by, by, by Wix for people who want to learn about investments. They can go to learnaboutinvestments.com and see the HTML version, because We've been experimenting with both. I think both of them look very beautiful. Uh, Omer has been on the Goldstein on Gelt show before. If you missed the previous interviews, download them at goldsteinongelt.com or at our YouTube channel. Perhaps one of the biggest, uh, I would guess, competitors that you have, Omer, is a company called WordPress. I think something like 15% of websites being created today are on the WordPress platform, which seems more complicated to use and to build a website, but uh, is it different or is it better or are you better? How do people determine which one they should use? Uh, I think it's a great question. Um, there is a huge... I, 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 don't, think, I don't think that uh, WordPress is competitive to Wix. I think we are working on different uh, niche. Um, WordPress is an amazing platform uh, for companies that have some design and technologies a background and knowledge at the company. And if you have this kind of experience at the company, uh, WordPress is an amazing platform. You can create beautiful website and uh, support a lot, a lot of uh, uh, content and images and represent the company really well. Uh, but if you don't have those capabilities in the company, you need to, again, invest a lot, a lot of money uh, in building the, the product and supporting it on a daily basis. And Wix, we would like to help the user without the technology need, without the technology knowledge, without the design knowledge, they would like to create a beautiful website. Those are the users, by the way, most of the businesses out there are businesses with less than 10 employees that don't have the design and the technology background and knowledge of the company, and this is the place where Wix is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you, you're focusing more on the small business market niche instead of, let's say, you know, Coca-Cola is not going to, at the moment, turn over their website to Wix. Yes, and I think also in the future. Uh, we, we prefer to create a, a, the best platform to small businesses. A lot of the time, their needs is totally different for, for, uh, to companies like Coca-Cola. And I think there are great solution for companies to like Coca-Cola, and we would like to give the best service for restaurant, barber shop, designers, people like you, you know, consultant. Uh, and this is we would like to stay focused and to improve our product 
in the small business markets. One of the things that a lot of small businesses desperately need is more exposure. They need to get more on the search engines. They need to get out there. I understand that Flash was always a problem for that, and HTML5, I presume, is better. Um, in the last minute or two, just before we wrap up, could you explain how does Wix actually help someone to build his online presence? Yeah, so the advantage of using Wix, for, first, just about regarding your last question, uh, although we, our platform based on Flash, we created uh, our platform totally uh, flexible and SEO friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have, I don't want to go deep to technology, but we created some XML fly, uh, uh, file that translate all the Flash content that you created uh, so search engine can read That's all the cool. content that you yeah. have on the site. Fair uh, enough. Okay. So regarding uh, helping a user, you know, uh, today it's really, really difficult for small business to create his online presence. He need to create a website that will look beautiful on website, on Facebook, uh, or via uh, different mobile devices, uh, Android and uh, I, uh, Apple devices. And what we would like to create at Wix, and we're already doing it, it's a one place where you can come and create your fully online present for free. So if you would like to create a website or mobile uh, website or Facebook fan page, and I'm sure in the, in the future we will have more platform that will show up and the small business is going to be difficult for him to track and manage, he, can, he will have the option to come to Wix and create his own uh, free visibility online. Okay. Okay. And is there, last time we spoke, you told us we knew that HTML5 was coming up. Is there anything right around the corner that we can all look forward to um, that, that you can tell us about? There, are, there, there is amazing, amazing news that we are going to be uh, air with. Uh, but unfortunately, currently, I can't share it with the audience. Uh, so I think we will have to schedule a, 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 another follow-up. <laughs> All right. <I'll, laughs> that'll be great. In, in, in around two months. And I think the news uh, that we are going to have in two months are going to give uh, the, the already powerful platforms that we are uh, a major boost. Okay. We've been talking to Omer Shai, who's joining us again on the Goldstein on Gelt show. If you missed it previously, go to goldsteinongelt.com or simply go to YouTube, look up Goldstein on Gelt to hear the previous interview. Omer, thanks so much. In the last few seconds, how can people learn about what you're doing? They're more than welcome to go to wix.com. It's wix.com and start creating the website uh, by free. Okay. It's a lot of fun, I have to say. Personally, I, I use it myself, and I strongly recommend. Thanks again, Omer Shai from Wix.com. Thank you very much, Douglas, and thank you for having me here. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world, but if you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, send Doug an email to doug at profile-financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Gelt Show.